Hey guys, as you all know, Motorola has released the update to Android Nougat 7.0 and today I'll be showing you how to root the device. Ok, so before we begin, please make sure that you have the same build number as mine. Otherwise, it won't work and you should not proceed. Ok, the first thing we'll be doing is enabling developer options. This can be done by clicking multiple times, about 7 to 8 times on the build number. Now when you go back to the settings, you will see a listing of developer options. Open that and check OEM unlocking. Allow. Next, check USB debugging and press on OK. Ok so next you need to download the .rar file which is given in the description onto your desktop. Um, then right click on it and press on extract here. Wait for it to extract you will see this folder. Ok so before we move further I recommend you take a backup of the internal storage because all the data in the internal storage would be erased. Ok so now you need to connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. Once you do that, you need to pull down the menu bar and then check on file transfer. Ok so next you gotta open the minimal adb and fastboot folder. In the folder you will see Motorola device manager.exe, you install it. I have already installed it so I am going to cancel the process for my. Ok so once you have installed all the drivers. You gonna right click on the folder while pressing on shift and press on open command prompt here. Ok so once command prompt opens you gonna enter adb devices. Ok so now you are gonna get a prompt on your phone. Check, uh, trust the computer and then press on ok. Ok so if the command prompt shows your serial number and it shows either unauthorized or authorized you are good to go. Ok next you enter in the command prompt adb reboot bootloader. Ok so the phone is gonna reboot now so the screen is gonna turn black. Now if on the bottom corner you can see some text which says fast or something like that then you are good to go to the next step. Ok so you are now gonna type in the command fast boot devices. If your phone serial number does not show up, like in my case, then you may continue watching the video. If it does show up, then please press on skip. Okay, so in the case that you don't see your uh, phone listed, you're gonna reboot your phone by uh, holding the power button for about 15 seconds. Once the phone goes all black, you're gonna hold the power button again so that it reboots. And now you're gonna be back onto your home screen. Ok so you're now again gonna right click on the folder while pressing on shift and then press on open command prompt window here. Ok so now you're gonna again type into the command prompt adp devices but this time around it's just gonna show the serial number and device instead of authorized and unauthorized. Ok. So now you're gonna enter adb reboot bootloader once again. This time you will notice that there won't be any prompt on your phone. It will just straight away go black. So once again you're gonna see that boot thing on the bottom left corner of your phone. Ok so now you again type in fast boot devices. Uh, this time you should see your serial number and you're good to go to the next step. Ok so now you type in fast boot OEM unlock. Ok so now this process is going to take time. Mine took 47 seconds that would be like around 50 seconds for you too. So I'm just gonna fast forward the video. Ok so now you are gonna see some text uh, which should say press volume up button for unlocking the bootloader and volume down button 
for not unlocking the bootloader. So you just have to press on the volume up button and you're good to go. Okay, so now it's gonna like finally start unlocking your bootloader. This should take just five seconds or so. And yeah, so once now that it has been done, um, it's gonna show the small text. It will say volume up, volume down, power, it's somewhere text. So what you just have to do is press on the volume down, volume up and the power button, three of them simultaneously together. Sorry, I wasn't able to record myself while pressing the three buttons. However, what is gonna happen next is that your device's data is going to be erased. So now the phone's gonna boot up brand new and fresh. So you're gonna have to set up your phone again. And if it says uh, bootloader unlocked on the middle left on the first boot, that means your bootloader has been unlocked. So congrats. Now this boot is gonna take up some time, like five minutes also. Okay, I'm just fast forwarding this bit over here. Um, and now you're gonna set up your phone once again. So once you have finished the setup, you are ready to go on to the next step, which is um, installing a custom recovery, TWRP recovery. Okay, so firstly, because the phone was factory resetted after the after unlocking the bootloader, we'll have to go to about phone once again, tap on the build number a few times, about seven to eight times, enable de developer options. Okay, so you go back to settings, press on developer options. You will notice that OEM unlocking is already checked, so you switch on USB debugging. Ok so now connect your phone using a USB cable to your PC. Slide down the menu bar and now go to USB 4 and check file transfer. Ok so now all you need to do is open the minimal adb folder and from it you copy the root file with the super su, the twrp file and the boot file onto your phone's internal storage or the external storage. Ok so once you have copied the files, you close the folders and go back to your desktop. Ok now you right click on the minimal adb folder and press on open command window here. Ok so once the command prompt window opens, you type in adb devices. Ok so now you'll get a prompt on your phone. You press on always trust this computer and press on ok. Once you have done that, you type in ADB devices once again. This time you will see that it does not show daemon not running or something like that. Now you type in ADB reboot bootloader. Ok so the phone screen should become black. Now after waiting for some time, you will see that on the bottom left of the phone screen, it would be written fast which indicates that you are in the fast boot mode. Ok so now you type in fast boot devices. Ok so in all likelihood you should see your phone serial number mentioned along with fast boot written on it. If it does not show this then it means that your drivers haven't been installed properly. Ok so now you type in fast boot flash boot boot underscore xt1663 underscore 356 dot img. Make sure that you copy the name of the boot file instead of writing it so that you don't make any mistake. Ok so now you press on enter and after waiting for about 5 to 10 seconds you will see some small text written on the middle side of your phone. Ok so now you type into the cmd fast boot flash recovery space twrp underscore moto underscore m dot img. Again it will be better if you copy the file name instead of typing it in yourself so that you do not make any mistake. Ok so you press on enter, the phone screen should go black. After 10 to 15 seconds or so, uh, there would be some text written on the middle left of the phone. Ok so once you see this text, it means that you have successfully flashed the recovery. And now the only step left is to root the phone. Ok so before doing that we need to reboot the phone. 
For this, we'll have to hold the power button for about 10 seconds until the phone vibrates, after which the screen should go black. Ok, so now you hold the power button for about another 10 to 15 seconds until the phone vibrates. Now you should see the Moto logo bright up on the phone. But remember, this boot is going to take up some time, so don't worry. I'm just going to fast forward the video so that you have you don't have to watch the whole part. Okay, so now we are finally going to root the device. So make sure that you have the Super SU zip file copied onto your phone. Okay, so the first step is to power your phone off. Okay, so now press the volume down and the power button together till the phone vibrates. Once it vibrates, release the power button until you see the Android logo. Now with the help of volume up and down buttons, choose the recovery mode and press the power button to select it. Now you should be able to see the motor logo, after which the TWRP recovery will boot up. Ok so the TWRP recovery now might ask you for a password. If it asks you for a password then just press on cancel. Once you press on cancel, uh, it will ask you if you want to keep the system read only. However we don't want to do this because we need to root the device. So we'll just swipe to allow modifications. Ok so now you can see the TWRP recovery. You just have to press on install. Now you have to locate the super SU fi zip file which you had copied onto your phone. The SD card folder is the internal storage folder and the ext underscore SD card folder is your um, SD cards folder or the memory cards folder. Once you locate the super SU or zip file, you just have to press on it. It will take you to the screen uh, which will ask you if you want to apply this flash update or not. All we have to do is just swipe to update flash. Ok so once you do that it should start installing the file. Ok so this installation would not take very long and should be finished extremely quickly. As you can see the installation has been finished. Now all you need to do is press on reboot system. Ok so this reboot will take time. Your phone might even reboot again and again. So don't worry, you just have to be patient. Ok, so you are back onto your home screen and your device should be rooted now. Let's just verify if our device is rooted or not. As you can see we have the super SU icon over here. Now let's just go to the play store and download an app called root checker real quick. Ok so this app will help us verify whether we have been able to root our device successfully or not. Ok so once you have installed the app, you just have to press on verify root. Um, if super su wants permissions, you just press on grant. If you have any questions or you want any details then please ask them to me in the comment section. I hope that this video has helped you. If so then please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.